Hi, okay, welcome. We're in Jeremy Duff, Elements of New Testament Greek, chapter two. And I'm not gonna be looking today at one of the sections in particular. I want to pick up something I said at the end of the last video about learning vocabulary. I can't emphasize this enough. Learning vocabulary is miserable if you leave yourself a whole pile of it to do until the end of the chapter and you get to the end of the chapter and there you have most of a page of new words and it's just so daunting you won't want to do it and you'll quickly become frustrated because you'll look at some of the answers and exercises in Duff's book and you think I don't understand any of the words and it becomes boring and hard work flicking back and forth you don't feel like you're making any progress whereas if you pick up the vocabulary a couple of words at a time even one word a day simply write one new flashcard a day I showed you how to do that it's obvious how to do it um, if just write one of them every day, then quick, very quickly you'll pick up hundreds of words in a year, obviously. Now, end of each chapter of Duff, you've got a list of vocabulary to learn. One of the helpful ways of learning these is to get some mnemonics or um, memory aids to help you with them. And I just want to give you a bunch of my mnemonics that I've come up with, which might help you to uh, uh, learn some of these uh, and get them to stick in your mind. So here goes. If these don't help you, then junk them, but maybe they will. And I tend to write the mnemonics on the flashcards. It helps me to kind of stick with the same mnemonic and not forget them. So here goes. So I go, I lead or I bring. I gotta go. I go, gotta go and lead somebody or bring something. Akuo, easy. Acoustic, it's to do with hearing. Ballo, I throw, oh come on, ball, ballo, you throw a ball. Um, blepo, this is a tougher one, but my kids came up with when somebody sees for the first time, their eyes open and they go blep with their eyes. Blep, I see or I watch. Didasco, like didactic, I teach. If you teach, you're being didactic, you're telling people things. Maybe that doesn't help you. Um, echo, I never found a decent one for that. Um, uh, lambano. Well, do you remember way back in the 90s, was it, when you had the dance craze, the lambada, and you take or you receive your partner? Lambano, I take, I receive. Lambano, lambada, maybe that works for you. Uh, Lego, my kids are always speaking or telling or saying things about their Lego, because they love Lego. Luo, I untie, you set somebody loose. Luo, when you untie them. Zeteo, I seek, Zze, seek. Not sure that works, but maybe it works for you. Caleo, call, caleo, I call, easy. Laleo, I've not come up with one for that. Or for poieto, or tereo, or, but for phileo, phileo, I love. I've got a friend called Philip, and I love him to bits. Phileo, I love. Okay, now some nouns. We're coming on to nouns in the next video, but you should start learning them now. Angelos, messenger or angel. Well, come on, that's easy. Uh, Adelphos. I'm not sure there's a mnemonic for that unless you know that Adelphi and the goddess and so on. Artos, bread. Artisan bread. All those posh shops you see around in places like Islington, a few miles down the road from here, where you have these wonderful artisan bakeries. Artos, artisan bread. Doulos, slave. A slave has to do lots. Doulos, do lots. Maybe that works. Theos, God. You'll come across that so often you don't need to worry about remembering it. Cosmos, world well cosmos cosmic the world cosmic is more to do with the universe isn't it but world universe you can make that work kurios again you'll come across that so often that you will never remember a day when you didn't know it uh, logos logic words are supposed to be logical logos is a word or a message nomos i haven't come up with a way of remembering that but that's common too or household oikos uh, that's pretty common so we'll you uh, i wouldn't worry if you can't remember that too much um, Uranos, heaven. Where does rain come from? Rain comes from the heavens. Ooh, rain from the heavens. Uranos. Does that work? Maybe it helps. Ochlos, crowd. Imagine you're Scottish. Och, lots of people. Ochlos, crowd, lots of people. Huios, again, a very common word, which I'm not, I wouldn't worry if you can't remember that easily, but do you remember how to spell it and how to pronounce it? Huios. Huios, two syllables, means sun. And finally, Christos. Well, if you need any help to remember what that means, then you really do need more help than I can give you in these videos. Okay, so there's some mnemonics to help you to uh, uh, learn the vocab. And I do recommend just one or two words a day, add them to your flashcard list. And if at the start of your Greek homework time, your Greek study time, you just pick up your flashcards and flick through them three or four times, or you put them all out on the table and turn them over, or play games with your kids or whoever else you're learning with, just to get them ingrained. It's much better, little and often, rather than 
trying to do a whole load of them at the end of the month when you get to the end of a chapter and you think, heavens above, how am I supposed to learn these? All right, God bless, keep working hard. 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, five or six days a week and we'll have you reading the New Testament in a year or two. All right, God bless, see you next time.